filtration is one of those activities which in the lab can sometimes get incredibly slow and tedious. And so what I want to do is to show you a really simple way um, to be able to do filtrations more efficiently. Now often when you're in school, in fact often when you're in, in university too, people tell you to take a filter paper and to fold it like this. So you take your circle, you fold it in half, then you fold it again, and now that you have the quarters, what you do is you open the filter paper and you put it in your funnel. Well, you know what? If you think about it, you've only got about a quarter of the filter paper in contact with the solution itself. And so on top of that, the filter paper is going to be hard against the glass and that's going to slow things down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you very quickly how you can increase that surface area and that is through the process of fluting. Now, if you look at this filter paper, it's in the shape of a V. What we'll do is we'll fold back the two halves, and the result is that we're going to end up with, if I don't drop it, a W. Okay, now we're going to do it again. I have no idea of what letter of the alphabet we're going to get, but the crucial thing is that we're going to fold it back on itself over and over. We take a look and we can always check whether we're doing this right. And the way in which we check it is by opening it up and seeing that we have a double W, right? In other words, we have a zigzag. Let's do it once more again, right? We flick it back and forth like so. And as we do so, the filter paper is getting more and more nicely pleated. Here we go, right? It's folded back on itself over and over. And there we are. We've got a very nice little packet. You want to work the edges, right, of the folds nicely. Don't work the tip too much. If you do that, you risk weakening the filter paper. But when you pull it out, notice how it is. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And that means that you can open it up in fact, in a strange sort of way, it reminds you of those Elizabethan ruffs that men used to wear, possibly not in the lab. Let's just check this. Here we go. We can now place it in our filter, and you'll notice that what we've got is the filter paper, which sits proud away from the glass itself, and the entirety of the area is actually exposed to the liquid. Simples.